You're watching Summer Zone. And with summer just around the corner, we're back to show you what's fun. In today's episode, we'll be sending our roaming presenters on a mission to find out what's hot this summer. That's right. Yodi's back with more delicious treats, and this week she'll be trying out some sizzling recipes for a barbecue. And Anthony will be in the snow trying something a little cooler over at Escape. And later, we'll have some fun Summer Zone do-it-yourself t-shirt and hat designs. But first, let's join Trevina and Haney in a competition that's right on target. Hi, I'm Haney and I'm Trevina and we're here today at the Silver Arrow Archery in Bedfordshire. Let's go check it out. Archers can fire arrows up to 150 miles per hour at 70 metres away. Both were first used 25,000 years ago, mainly for war, and now they're used mostly for sports. And that's what we're going to go do now. Target practice that is. Hi Sue. So Sue, how easy is it to do a sport like this? It's a really easy sport to mm -hmm. get started with. When we get people coming here for the very first time, they're hitting the target within the first three hours. Really? Yeah. So does that mean that we can have a go? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm excited. Can anyone become a member? To become a member of an archery club you have to do a beginner's course. And on that course you learn how to shoot and you learn all the safety rules and the etiquette. And once you finish the course then you can join an archery club. So, let's give it a go. Okay, I'm just going to put this arm guard on you okay. because you haven't got a sleeve on that arm. So does this apply to me because I'm left-handed or...? You should wear one whether you're right-handed or left-handed if you haven't Great. got a sleeve on. Okay? okay, now I'm going to ask you to step away from the shooting line, please. Okay, now if you can come and stand in front of me and turn right. and face me. Okay. That's it. And hold the bow in your right hand, right. in that bit there. Like that? That's it. Okay. I'm going to put the arrow on the string, so if you could just move that hand out okay. of the way. I'm going to clip it in there, rest it on the arrow rest there. Right. Now with that hand, you need those three fingers on the string underneath the arrow. Mm -hmm. You're going to stretch that arm out and I want you to pull the string back so that that finger goes into the corner of your mouth. Okay. Finger back into the corner of your mouth, down the arrow, put the point on the gold and then just let go of the string. <laughs> Excellent shot, well done. Wow, really good. I'm really proud of that. So you should be. Thanks. Okay, Haney, would you like to have a go? The pressure's on, Haney. There. Okay, Haney, because you're right-handed, you're going to come and stand this side. Okay. Okay, would you like to step back? Yep, no problem. Okay, hold the bow in your left hand. That's it. And put the arrow on there, clip it in onto the string and rest it on there. Okay. Right, now with that hand, it's those three fingers on the string underneath the arrow. Wrap the fingers round, stretch that arm out, that's it. I want you to get that finger into the corner of your mouth. That's it, get it right into your face, into your face, look down the arrow, put the point on the gold. Good shot. Watch and learn. <laughs> okay, so would you like to come in so you can both shoot yep, together? I sure would. Okay, so if you come and stand there. Okay. Right, so would you like to take your next arrow? Put it onto the string as I showed you before. Yep. That's it. I'm just going to turn yours around that way. Need some help there, Haney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should. So, hold onto the bow. Okay. That's it. Take, put that finger down. Oh. That's it. Three fingers on the string. Okay, so you pull it back so the top finger's in the corner of your mouth. Put down the arrow, put the point on the gold. Elbow up. That's it, and then let go when you're ready. quite ready for Olympics yet. But we'll keep practicing. She'll keep practicing. I'll keep practicing and thank you to Sue for thank your you. help. Okay. No problem. Until next time guys, bye. 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 Looks like Haney beat Trevina this week, so that's 2-1 to Haney. And they'll be back with Luton Flyers basketball team. Now if you like snow and you're feeling bored, Anthony has the perfect solution. <laughs> I know what you just did there. Snow, bored. Yep. So let's see how he got on at Escape. I've come to the snow zone in Milton Keynes, which is available for all ages. So let's see what you can really get up to. All 
Right, I'm going to get changed now. It's going to be very, very cold in there, so I best warm up. As I stepped into the dome, I was greeted by two skiing instructors who gave me the insight of all the basics I needed to know in order to become a beginner in skiing. I'm ready now, let's get to the slopes. I'm with Tom here and he's going to show me how to actually get this big board on. I don't know how to do it. Show me Tom, please. Cool, so basically, you've got your snowboard, yeah. okay, you've got the base on the bottom, that's your accelerator while you're out on the slope. Okay, so the flatter your base, the faster you're going to go. So we're looking to put one foot in. Here. And once you've got one foot in, yeah. you always do the heel strap up first. Okay. That's to make sure there's no gap between the back of your boot and your binding. Okay. And then once we've got one foot strapped in, okay, the easiest way to put the other foot in okay. is just to simply spin yourself around by lifting your board up. That's it, round and round and round, keep going. If you stick your foot on the other side of your board and then kind of pick the board up and spin down the hill and you won't go yeah. too far. And once we're here, yeah. to put the other foot in, we're just going to take a seat. Down on the floor. Yeah. And then exactly the same again, you put foot in the heel strap done up nice and tight. And once you've done your heel strap, again you're touched. Right, I'm about to set off and go down this long slope all the way down there. How am I going to do this Tom? Cool, so we're going to start off on your toe edge brake. Yeah. Okay, so you spun yourself round. Uh, we need your board nice and straight across the hill, so okay. let's make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. Cool. As we start to stand up to start with, you're going to keep your shins pushed forward in your boots, okay. pushing down through the ball of your foot, All right. Okay. and you're going to keep your head up, looking right up to the top All of the right. slope. Right. That's going to help keep your back nice and straight, keep your balance okay. over your board. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you a hand for your first go. Okay. So if you push yourself up with one hand, I'll help you up with the other one. Okay. Cool. You can keep hold of me. Okay. Keep those shins pushed right forward, mm -hmm. all right, and then nice and slowly to get yourself moving, mm -hmm. when you're doing with your knees, start to stand yourself up. Okay, so as you start to stand up, your board should just start to start sliding. Right, let's try and keep it a little bit straight forward. That was amazing, but oh, oh my gosh, it was amazing, but you just need to keep the balance and hold that core in. But it is amazing to do some snowboarding, so I think you should get down here at Milton Keynes and come down to Snow Zone.